just go through every service um, and please do uh, spend some time on going through these um, recordings uh, maybe a few more times uh, because there's a lot of uh, fine print here in these practices so that you don't have to refer to the practice guide separately purpose of the service design to design product services fit for purpose fit for use and that can be delivered by the organization it's about designing and to organize all four dimensions practices and organizations customer organization customer interactions for new changed products or services so in summary it's about able to design products and services which are fit for purpose fit for use meaning they fulfill the utility needs they fulfill the warranty needs and also for designing the organization needs to organize all the four dimensions with their practices and the interactions for new services or change services new products or change products and usually this happens after the requirements are captured for the service it's important to consider whether it's a iterative and incremental approach or the uh, waterfall approach design can be big uh, bank design or it could be incremental design based on uh, slightly changing needs from time to time evolving needs it should be holistic or the all the four dimensions need to be considered so one thing which can help you for the exams in any exam for ITIL 4 is to always keep into perspective the four principles nothing in ITIL 4 runs without the four principles or without the four dimensions uh, sorry the seven principles or the four dimensions or the SVS with its own five components so if you can connect the dots all these dots then uh, you get an edge when you answer every question in the exam it gives you more ideas on which option is a better option to select in the exam as an answer design may be different for small type of changes versus large type of changes there may be um, particular architecture used for a large design change compared to uh, when you use a small uh, change then uh, we don't have to maybe look at the complete architecture but just modify one element of that a trend which is practiced in many industries is design for the user design thinking similarly we have got design for the business for customer for the experience from a cost perspective security perspective design should be modifiable or adaptable it should be able to absorb more demand in future it should allow for continuous operation without breaks in operation continuity that is and uh, with some acceptable risks so a lot of common sense in terms of uh, how design should work So therefore, um, some of these uh, things, what I just mentioned or what you see here uh, will help you in analyzing to the correct answer in the exam. And generally, you will find that these uh, principles in any practice are based on the overall seven principles, the service value system, the four dimensions. Next concept, service design thinking. This is where you have to know clearly what is design thinking. It focuses on the user side, practical, human-centered, and accelerates innovation, solves complex problems, practical, creative solutions, which meets the needs. It's human-centered, that's the core of this. When it is human-centered, it is innovative, which means we must consult the humans, the designers must consult the users when they do design thinking. How do they do that? The activities in design thinking, there are mainly two, inspiration and empathy. We'll come to empathy afterwards or maybe in one of the practices. Important to observe the user interactions. We may give them a prototype uh, to the users and see how they use it. Or we may look at how the users are working on their current product or service. That can tell us uh, what they are missing or what they might be expecting. For example, if they're using a website, they may express their frustrations that, oh, I wish this was uh, on this side, or uh, I wish the, uh, this came up on the first page. I don't have to click too many times to go to this particular button. Yeah? 
ideation ideation means start with a small idea diversify it break one idea into more and more diverge into different ideas but then we need one solution eventually therefore come back to one single solution diverge first and then converge afterwards so based on the requirements we may think about building a, a certain it system and we may we may have four or five different ways of defining that system or producing that and showing it but then we will see oh all the five of all the five uh, these are five good ideas for the solution but maybe solution number 3 is the best so converge to one experiment prototype do it agile as well uh, not to think about everything in one go we may take a small portion of the users needs and then think what product can be given to them evaluate it multidiscipline we need uh, for design we need people from different areas for a holistic design in digital transformation previously in the non digital uh, transformation world those are traditional systems legacy systems there was a lot of digital technology used for example uh, electronic uh, data processing records were stored in database but that was not digital transformation digital transformation is it brings a significantly different business model so the way the business works totally changes as we have seen with uh, taxis cabs i can use an app and select the the cab the type of cab i want and, and sit in it i can order food uh, from a mobile app i can select which restaurant and uh, what kind of food i need and i can also maybe customize it sometimes so significantly different business model so design thinking and digital transformation go together the last part of service design practice success factors definition of a psf the complex functional component of a practice required by it to fulfill its purpose what are the two service design psfs there should be an organization wide design uh, approach to service design there must be some approach on how the design would be done and to ensure that all the time the services are fit for purpose fit for use the utility is met the warranties are met the design should ensure that the functionality does does occur and then the warranty is assured you see a lot of slashes here it basically means and or assess objectives and customers communication needs requirements innovation resources risks project needs changes suppliers so the service design can be an approach for service design can be created only when a lot of these things are understood and the design approach with uh, with one or more design models there may be a waterfall design model or an agile design model and a combination of models can make one approach for example if you have a hybrid approach it may use a combination of waterfall and agile similarly you may have some other things on the hardware side and ensuring services are fit for purpose and use all the time to do this um, because usually it's been found traditionally that there are gaps in functionality and gaps in the warranties some new innovative approaches may be required proper holistic approach so that nothing is missed out when something is modified one component is modified it should not break something else excuse me so the design should make sure that um, the interactions of the various uh, components are properly understood and integrated eventually now you might find this very abstract a lot of theory and therefore for the exam if i have to give you some uh, guidance for your preparation you will see uh, you will have to know the purpose of every practice you will have to understand some of the key terms of every practice like design thinking so for example you may have a question uh, uh, an organization wishes to work with the users um, to uh, clearly understand their needs um, etc which of the below 
techniques or uh, methods will you use for this purpose and you have to th remember if it is about design thinking or something else so the correct answer would be design thinking rather than having to say that an agile approach will help to uh, to empathize with the user so if you suppose the empathy with the user then we should use design thinking rather than agile approach agile approach doesn't focus on empathy and uh, with the user but it focuses more on uh, though there is some empathy but agile's focus is more on faster delivery and yeah incremental products so once the concepts are clear it becomes uh, uh, easier for uh, attempting the exam questions <clears throat>